your heart as a TIE fighter. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. So we got to print one of those models that's just like your heart, and then we took pieces from a TIE fighter toy and had a really talented guy paint it for us. One of the things that we struggle with is to explain to patients and families exactly what's going on with the heart because it's inside the walls of your chest and you can't see it. And often the best that we can do is to do a hand-drawn sketch on a piece of paper for them. We thought to ourselves to overcome some of those barriers in understanding and education, uh, could we bring congenital hearts to life by 3D printing them? and representing them in virtual reality. So both the vessels would come out of here and go into your body, okay? Now what's missing? If you only have one and it pumps for the body, what's missing? The air, the, the air one. Yeah, exactly. Some, some, somehow it has to go to the lungs to get the air first, right? When I sent the message to uh, Mason's mom to ask her if he wanted his heart to look a certain way, I, I thought maybe he'd say he wanted it to look purple or something, but it came back that he wanted it to look like a TIE fighter, and I thought that was a good joke at first, but um, I work with a couple students who are amazing, and when I, when I told them that joke, they said, of course we can make his heart look like a TIE fighter. Our initial plan had been to create a curriculum for doctors in training so that they could learn more about the heart. Uh, but I think we've realized through this journey that these technologies that we have developed as a group um, have so much more potential. It can also provide a bit of closure around uh, things that have happened and uh, empower kids to uh, take some ownership of their own heart condition so that when they grow up in their adolescence and adults and they go to their follow-up visits, uh, that they're the expert there. What do you say to everybody? Thank you. Together, we do amazing things every day.